Hello, my little rain clouds. I've been thinking a little bit about identity lately, and about a thought experiment called the ship of Theseus, or if you prefer the Greek pronunciation, Theseus. The ship of Theseus is an idea that says, let's say uh, an ancient Greek hero called Theseus had a ship made of wood, and he was super famous, killed a minotaur, became a king, blah, blah, blah. That ship gets stored in a museum, and it's put on display, and everybody comes and looks and says, oh, look, that's that's Theseus's ship. That's the ship of Theseus. And then gradually, over time, the museum curators notice, huh, one of the planks is kind of rotten and warped, Let's just replace that plank with a, a nice new plank. We'll, we'll keep the ship in good condition so that people can come and have a look. And so they do. At that point, when one of the original planks has been replaced, is it still the ship of Theseus? Most people would probably say, yes, it is. But let's say that that happens again that the next year they're looking after the boat and they notice, oh, there's another plank that's warped. Okay, let's replace that one too. Is it still the ship of Theseus? And then again and again that happens gradually, one by one, all of the planks get replaced until there's only one original plank left and then that one gets warped and they need to replace it too. After all of the original planks have been replaced with new planks, is it still the ship of Theseus? Again, it's a tricky question. Is it still the same ship? Is it a different ship? I think the answer is probably, well, it kind of is, and it kind of isn't. It's kind of the ship of Theseus, but it's also a bit different. <laughs> which is a bit of a cop-out answer. There's lots of different theories as to how you would answer this. There's lots of different philosophical discussions, but I think that's kind of my answer, is sort of. <laughs> and then you can take it even further. So what if when they replaced all of those warped rotten planks, they kept them in a back room somewhere? And then eventually they developed the technology to reverse that rotting process and restore the wood to its original quality. And then they make a brand new replica, exact replica of the ship of Theseus with all of the restored original planks. Is that the ship of Theseus? Is the other ship not? the ship of Theseus anymore? Are they both the ship of Theseus? It's a tough question. <laughs> and again, I think my answer is sort of. <laughs> they're sort of the ship of Theseus and they're sort of not. They're a bit different. They are both ships of Theseus, but they have some differences <laughs> in their identity, sort of meta qualities to their identity, perhaps. And of course, identity is a human construction. It's a thing that exists in our mind. It's not an innate quality of an object or anything. It's about how we see an object, how we view it, how we think of it, how we categorize it in our minds. But it's interesting to think about, particularly in regards to us, because I think that we're all ships of Theseus as well, in a sense. We go through life day after day, we have experience after experience, and those experiences change us. We change in response to the things that we experience. We identify rotten planks. We identify things that aren't working, behaviors and beliefs and thoughts and activities and hobbies and patterns, and we change them. Not all the time, but Certainly, sometimes we do. And so, thinking about that, am I the same as I was yesterday? Am I the same person? And again, I think the answer is 
kind of yeah and kind of no. <laughs> I'm sort of the same person, but I'm also a bit different. One of my planks is a bit different. I've made some new neural connections, or I've maybe broken some neural connections. I've forgotten things, I've changed things, I've learned, I've added, I've grown. I am a bit different than I was yesterday. I'm different than I was two weeks ago, two months ago, two years ago. I'm still kind of the same person, but I'm also different. And that happens in a literal sense as well, on a physical level. We replace ourselves. <laughs> Our bodies are different. At a certain point, we no longer have the same molecules, the same cells that used to be what we were. Our skin gets replaced every 27 days or so. Not all at once, gradually, but every 27 days or so, we don't have our original skin anymore. We've changed those cells, regrown new ones. And so we are physically different, but I think more interestingly, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, we're different people. But I don't think that we change our own perception of our identity in response to that. I think many people view themselves as being stagnant, as being stuck as the same entity, the same person, the same thing, day after day, month after month. Because we, we don't tend to notice gradual changes so much. If there's a big change, if there's a sudden event, if there's something that really shakes us up, then yeah, we may recognize that we've changed, but it's often we ignore or don't notice those gradual changes. You probably haven't noticed that your hair is slightly longer than it was yesterday because it's very imperceptible. But I think also there are cognitive biases that we have that kind of screen out the idea that we've changed. We like the idea that our identity is somewhat consistent because that makes things safer and more predictable. It gives us a sense of consistency and stability that we need. And that's understandable. But in a very real sense, we are changing day by day, moment to moment. It's not always a very significant change, but we are changing. And I think that that's really important to recognize that you have actually changed a lot over the past couple of weeks, couple of months. Your experiences have changed you. You've grown, you've learned, you've developed. And that's particularly important when we think about mistakes. <laughs> when we have those cringy, uncomfortable moments where we think back on something that we did and we go, oh, why did I do that? Uh. We can have those feelings of self-loathing and self-hatred. We can have feelings of shame and guilt. We can blame ourselves. We can punish ourselves for things we did or didn't do, for ways that we behaved, for things we didn't know beat ourselves up and saying, I should have known better. But you wouldn't have known until you'd done that thing, until you'd made that mistake, until you'd had that experience. That was the thing that enabled you to learn. And then you did learn. You grew from it. You identified a rotten plank and you said, oh, I need to change that. The way that I behaved in the situation wasn't appropriate. I wasn't doing the right thing, I, I didn't know what to do, or I said the wrong thing, I made a mistake, I made a bad decision, whatever it was. You learned from it. And the fact that you're saying, oh, I should have known better, why did I do that, oh, I wish I'd done the X and Y, indicates that you have learned, indicates that there's a change. You wish that your past self had done something differently, which means that now in the future, if that situation comes up again, or a similar situation comes up again, you will do something different. Hopefully, at least. And so, 
we need to recognize I'm not the person that made that mistake. Yes, in some sense I am, but in another sense, I'm not. Because so much of our progress and our growth are small iterations. They're not brand new ships. It's just a plank at a time. It's a bit like software updates. If you play a game or use an app or a program or whatever, there are these updates that you'll download and they will have a number attached to them. It'll be version 1.360 beta or whatever. It'll be an indicator that something has changed and there'll be patch notes that come along with it. It'll tell you what has changed in this update. I, I recognize this thing that the program wasn't doing right and I fixed it. So now this thing shouldn't happen anymore or I've added this new feature or whatever. And I think that we're the same way. <laughs> we are continually updating ourselves. We have changes all the time, but we're not publishing patch notes to ourselves. We're not letting ourselves know, hey, we're, we're actually different now. And we may not be telling other people that either, but I think in particular, it's really important that we recognize that we've changed because we're treating ourselves as though we haven't, as though we're still the same person that made that mistake, that we deserve punishment, that we need to be taught a lesson so it will do better. But we already have learned. That wasn't me. That was like three versions ago. I'm 1.68 now. I've learned loads since then. <laughs> and so when you have those moments of, oh, I should have known better. Instead, try to say, I now know better. I know better now because of that mistake. I'm not that version that made that mistake. I've come a long way since then. I've learned, I've grown, I've replaced my planks. <laughs> we don't deserve to be treated as though we are this stagnant, unchanging thing, as though we are stuck, doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past. We are all capable of change. We are all changing day after day. Small changes, big changes, plenty of them. Many of them are gradual, and we're missing out if we don't recognize them. I think it's important to reflect on that, reflect on how we're changing, particularly when we're changing in a good way, <laughs> when we can recognize, I learned something. I'm not going to do a, a bad thing. I, I learned how to do something better. I made some mistakes. I, I grew from them. I practice a thing and I improved at it. I'm not as bad as I was before. I've actually gotten better at doing this thing. Gradual progress is most of the progress that we make. And so if we don't notice it, if we don't recognize it and celebrate it, we miss out on it. If we don't update our own internal model of ourselves, if we don't recognize that we've changed, then we keep thinking of ourselves as these crappy, awkward, teenage mistakes in human clothing. But that's not us. We're constantly growing. We're constantly learning and improving. We are different than we were before. Different versions, different ships, if you like. Yes, the general identity is still there. It is still largely intact. But a different version of that ship, a different version of us. So I think it's important to reflect on those changes and maybe you want to start a journal and write down your patch notes <laughs> of the day, of the week, of whatever. Even write it in the form of patch notes if you want to be kind of funny about it. But recognize when you've learned, recognize when you've changed, when you've fixed a bug, when you've replaced a plank. Recognize that you're not the person you were when you made a mistake, when you did something that you regret. And you don't deserve to be punished. 
You don't deserve to be treated as though you're still that person who made that mistake. Because you've learned. You've grown. You are not the mistake you made. You are a new ship. Every day. Even if most of your planks are the same, you're a little bit different. And those differences add up. (laughs) Thanks for listening.